it down the line. This is Border Crossings. I'm Larry London, and I'll join you today as we welcome Fairground Saints. Based in Nashville, Tennessee, Fairground Saints came together on social media. They refer to their sound as California Country, and their new EP is titled Magic. Fairground Saints are on tour in support of the new album. The Huffington Post named them to their Fantastic 15 of 2015, and Rolling Stone called them artists you should know. They recently celebrated a milestone as the band was featured on stage at the Grand Old Opry, which is a huge achievement for a country music artist. Today, we are joined by Fairground Saints. Stay tuned to Border Crossings. Hi, I'm Larry London. Welcome to Border Crossings. And in our studios today, they're on tour for a new EP called Magic. We welcome Fairground Saints to Washington, D.C. It's nice to have you guys. Hi, Hi. Hello. thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having And us. why don't you introduce yourselves, first of all, so we know who we've got in our studios. I'm Meg. I'm Mason. I'm Eli. You're Eli. Welcome. Nice to have you. you. I understand that you started off as a solo performer and you really weren't trying to make a group. It was going to be a solo career. Is that true? Um, yeah, I, I think I started out that way. And then I, I think um, I really, you know, once I started playing with Eli and Meg, I really saw the merit of uh, what it was like to be in a group and the collaborative experience that it could mm -hmm. be. Um, so I, I lost a bit of arrogance there. Uh, the so, so you guys weren't really friends to begin with. You kind of found each other yeah. and in yes. an interesting way, I guess. Yeah. Very um, interesting. On the internet. I'll let you start. On the internet. <laughs> yeah. We're an internet band. Were you both trying to hit on Meg? Is that what was <laughs> no, happening? No, no, no. What, what was I mean, going on here? Uh, Give them the short version. <laughs> I, you know, it's, I was busting tables and I wanted to start a band and, uh, I put an ad on facebook mm -hmm. and eli was actually the only person that answered it so uh but the thing is he ended up being like a super genius um and played all sorts of instruments mm -hmm. um and we started you know playing around in ojai california mm -hmm. and sure. uh this place near called santa the, barbara yeah, way, yeah really nice area and uh, at a place called the ojai valley deer lodge and mm -hmm. it was going we were just having a good time and uh we wanted to see if we could take it one step further so uh, Craigslist. <laughs> Craigslist. <laughs> yeah. where we wow. Went. Craigslist. Yeah. Um, and Meg was in the background of a submission um, for our band. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually tracked her down through her dad's chain of hot dog restaurants. In, in the, the Midwest. Midwest. So I'm from Michigan. So am I. Oh, awesome. Hi. Near Southfield, Oakland County. Oh, cool. I'm from Grand Rapids. I know Grand Rapids. Yeah. Yeah. See, we're so, all like family. Yeah. This is one big happy Instant family. Here we go. family. California, <laughs> Michigan, we've all got the same roots. Well, we're happy you're with us, and Thanks. wouldn't mind hearing a song if you guys are in the mood to do it. Sure, them. let's do it. You brought your instruments, so let's put we you to did. work. Of course. We're into it. This is a song from our new EP. It's called Somewhere Down the Line. Baby, it's midnight under your porch light That fallen star might be sending us a sign The highway is calling Somewhere down the line Oh, come on, let's go Chase us a moon blow Let the crazy wind blow us through the grand design we could pick some Georgia peaches I'm a Carolina pie I Fine. I'll be yours and you'll be mine 
somewhere down the line I've got a full tank of gas and some money Let's leave this small town of small dreams behind Where you ain't flavors, the outlook is sunny Somewhere Maybe it's midnight under your porch light That fallen star might be sending us a sign I've got a full tank of gas and some money Let's leave this small town with small dreams behind Where you ain't favors the outlook is sunny Somewhere Sounding great. Fairground Saints are here live. They're clapping all around the world. You're getting a standing ovation in 100 countries right now. We're, we're, we're happy you're here. And so congratulations on the big news, which I'm, I'm sure you guys are very excited to hear. You're going to make your debut at the Grand Ole Opry. That's yes. got to make yeah, very exciting. any yeah. country Huge. act feel very, very proud of yeah. what they've achieved. How did that come about? Um, I, you know, I, not entirely sure. <laughs> Our but manager a, is um, amazing, basically. Must yeah. be. Yeah. Yes. You get the call, and there it is. <laughs> yeah. She's been our champion, so I'm sure she was had a hand in that for sure. But we're very, very honored. When does that happen? May 31st. May 31st. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's coming up. Wow, that's excellent. I mean, yeah. that, for a country band, that has to be, I mean, that's like one of the highlights. That's going to be the pinnacle. How yeah. do you top that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know that you do. <laughs> I think you just try to continue. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have had quite a, a list of accolades so far. I mean, Rolling Stone called you uh, one of the country acts to watch, and Huffington Post said you're one of the best 15 of 2015, which was when you made your debut. So the question is, if your debut was in 2015, why did you wait four years for the second album? What, what's taken so long for the second album? Um, I, I think there was some critical acclaim for that record, and I think we just were sort of touring it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it had just working kind of, it. It was yeah, we were working it, <laughs> and uh, it had a it had a pretty uh, solid shelf life, um, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, it's still going. So we just decided yeah. to 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 ride that train um, as long as we could, and until we just felt like we had to make another record. Mm-hmm. Uh, and landing in Nashville was was a big part of that. Mm-hmm. And we spent a good amount of time in Nashville just writing and like getting to know that whole. It's a different part of the country, mm-hmm. so. We took a couple, you know, couple years to just kind of settle into that as well. Mm, yeah, because I was going to ask. That's a big transition from California, from Michigan. You moved to Nashville. It's a different vibe. It's a different pace. Uh, it is where country music is is obviously based yeah. and thrives, but it's a change. Mm-hmm. I mean, has it been an easy adjustment to life in Nashville? Or I think it was a fun adjustment mm-hmm. yeah. for sure. Um, music I, city. Yeah, especially mm-hmm. like like you know, our, our publisher Sony ATV, like getting us a bunch of co-writes and just getting in a room like four or five times a week and writing songs for your job Mm -hmm. is kind of the dream you know Mm -hmm. so uh it it was really easy to sort of assimilate um into that environment and and a little scary as well because there's some you know it's nashville you can't outwrite nashville (laughs) right right you know so um yeah, really, and definitely fun. You work with a, a great producer too. On the yes, album, yes, right? Marshall Altman. Marshall. Mm-hmm. He's incredible. Yeah. Um, somebody that we gelled with from the very first day that we hung out with him. Uh, and so to start out as friends and then to to find out that you're really compatible professionally was uh, really incredible. Mm -hmm. It's great to have Sony behind you. And I know one of the things that you had said was you learned a lot about yourselves, you know, with this new album. What'd you learn about yourself that you didn't know before? I think it's more so just honing in on something that was already there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think 
that comes with time and being on the road together mm -hmm. and learning kind of what you don't want and what is not you. Mm -hmm. The yeah, process a certain of elimination clarity of, yeah. of vision, mm. perspective. Say. Yeah, yeah. Well, so how how does it feel working with these two guys? You just kind of met them, social media, and here you are. And now you have a band, and you're kind of stuck for better or worse. So here sorry. you are. You know, they're a lot of fun. Uh -huh. They're big goofballs, so I can I can tolerate it. If I, if I had to tolerate any two guys other than my dad, that would be... it would be these two. So <laughs> thank you. I'm very lucky. Yeah. Uh, so the songwriting. Who does most of the songwriting? Is it a group effort? Is there one principal songwriter among you, or how does that work? It's, it's um, a group effort. Yeah. yeah. Most mm -hmm. of the time, it's a group effort. But mm -hmm. like sometimes, you know, somebody will have like an idea at home when we're not all yeah. together, mm -hmm. and you know, we'll bring that into the into the writers' room, and um, that's always really inspiring mm -hmm. um, to have have somebody bring something in that they feel really precious about and mm -hmm. and are willing to you know, share it with everybody and say, hey, let's make something out of this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, um, it's like a writer's collective yeah. to a certain degree. Mm. We all kind of pool our ideas. And I, I, I've seen that the different labels applied to your music. You know, there's the, the California Breezy Country, then there was Americana, and then there's, I saw pop written as a descriptor mm -hmm. of your music. Where do you guys feel you are most comfortable? What lane are you in or, or are you in a lane? Because now these days with the music business the way it is, you can put singles out and you can, Put a single out in any genre you want, yeah. but yeah. basically, yeah, it, it, you know, country music I know is kind of the big umbrella. Yeah. But where do you guys feel that you are? Um, I think the country music genre, in and of itself, is mm -hmm. is changing to some degree to kind of encompass a, a, a broader mm -hmm. um, audience of of acts, and uh, I think that we fit in the country genre. Um, mm. I think that's who we are. We call ourselves California country. Mm -hmm. Um, that's, you know, w where it all started. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah. I think we're really influenced by things like Fleetwood Mac and the Eagles. Mm. Jackson uh, Brown. Great. Yeah. So. Neil Young. Yeah. And that stuff up. is, you know, it's country music. Mm -hmm. That is, that is country music. Mm. Um, and I think that that's where we feel the most comfortable and that's certainly where our hearts are at. Mm. So it, is it, it's always been country music for you guys or were you doing something else? I had a reggae band. Oh, did you? I could tell. He pulled <laughs> yeah. the drag dreadlocks off before I we started. I actually had an all-girl like rock band. Okay. In high school too, so we've. I was like in a jazz band mm -hmm. from when I was ten to sixteen, like jazz, uh -huh. funk cover instrumental uh -huh. songs. So there is some variety here. There's some yeah, versatility. Yeah, we, so. we we just love good music. Totally. Yeah. You know, in the car, it's always just like all over the place, mm -hmm. from like Dolly Parton to Luther Vandross mm -hmm. to kiss i don't know yeah we just like good music mm. so we kind of just try to not get too locked into yeah the labels genres. exactly yeah. so you guys did a, a big music festival i guess in, in uh, the uk mm -hmm. yes. so what was that like unbelievable magical <laughs> yeah amazing that was uh I, we, we didn't want to leave mm. um we got to do the uh spotlight stage mm -hmm. which was uh how many people is the o2 arena it's 18,000? It's around there. Yeah. yeah, so that was a little spooky um, <laughs> to to just, you know, they kind of throw you out there. And, right. And you got three songs to play for all these people. And, you, you know, it was uh, exhilarating. Mm -hmm. um, and then the response from, from everyone was, was really, really um, encouraging mm -hmm. and uh, refreshing. Um, it's right. a different vibe when you're playing for 18,000 or when you're playing for, you know, 500 or 1,000 or whatever in a smaller uh, club. Try to keep it. You, I think you try to keep the same attitude mm -hmm. going into it, or else you might wig out. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, but I will say, I, you know, we we've played some shows that for you know twenty people that were way scarier than playing for eighteen thousand. Yeah, that's eye contact. About you can like it. see yeah. their yeah. eyes. <laughs> right, there right, right. Much more intimate. Much yeah. more intimate. Yeah. All right, we're talking with Fairground Saints. Would you guys do another song? Of course. Yeah. What's the name of this one and the story behind it? Uh, well. It's called California, so obviously very inspired by where these guys are from. Is there a song called Michigan on this? That you no, but we, no, should, we yeah. should do a Michigan. Hey. Yeah, we should do a Michigan. <laughs> Good idea. Song. All right, ready? Yeah. Crossing the border, waves on the water, San Diego side. Bells on the mission, ringing out love, heading north on the 
Very, very nice. Fairground Saints. What's the origin of the name, Fairground Saints? How'd you um, guys pick that name? It's kind of about paying homage to the everyday saint. Um, mm-hmm. The idea is more, not so much that it's a band name, which it is, but more that it's a collective of people. Like, you know, it's hard just to get up in the morning sometimes. And, and Meg, you, you put it really beautiful. Uh, we liken the fairground aspect to the world and how it can be very loud and very distracting, and it feels like somebody's always trying to sell you something. Mm -hmm. So very similar to the fairground, and then the saint aspect is, you know, the single mother that wakes up and buys groceries, and, you know, just the everyday saint, like he was saying, Um, just trying to do what good you can in the world. You put a lot of thought into that. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's, there's a lot of bands that come in, which uh, came to me, or, you know, I just saw it on a sign, so, you know, but that's, wow, you really put the thought into were there other options um yes there were a couple and they were bad they, they were, were bad. Too, too hard to pronounce the second somebody says how do you spell that right. it's, it's just not a, it's good, not a good one not yeah. a good band name so yeah. well I, I love the uh the new ep how about a full studio album is that in the plan for yes. next yes Absolutely. it's been recorded okay. actually um can you give us any in the time frame or we're hoping it's soon. Soon. All soon. right. I'll put that on my calendar. Yeah. By the, soon. I'm sure by the end of the year. So. Okay. Yeah. Great. And then a tour. Is it going to be an international tour? Are you guys thinking about now that you've had some success over, you know, in London? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, fingers crossed for that. Um, I think that there's been a lot of love over there, and and uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if we were we were mm-hmm. back. 
Um, well, we're reaching, you know, like I say, a lot of countries right now. And so what was, you know, the, the country music world in London, what's that like? Because I know there's different kinds of music for different places. Like reggae is huge in the UK, <laughs> but here not so much. So how about country music? Is it thriving in, in London and the UK? Uh, quite clearly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, they are loving it. So. Yeah, they really appreciate the storytelling kind of rootsy thing that, that we do. I think mm-hmm. I think that they really, really enjoyed it. So. Mm. Yeah. That's great. You have a beautiful voice. Thank also, you. is it you, you guys professionally trained or did you teach yourselves or Uh, we all grew up in pretty musical families. So, mm-hmm. I've been writing songs since I was like 5. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your favorite part of this business? Probably writing the, the songs. The writing the songs. Yeah. Oh. And for you, you guys the same? Because some like the so. performing more, some like, you know. I like I think yeah, somewhere between songwriting and performing. Mm-hmm. Um I, that's that's where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's great. Well, they're in our studios, and we've got them for a little bit longer. What is the significance of the little ribbons that are hanging from your guitar? Because you, know, you match, is, uh, so there must be a reason. Well, that's actually that's my Eli's guitar. guitar. It's a, it's a oh, funny story. okay. I was going to say it's a coincidence, and I think they're not. from a really kind of gross pair of shorts that I had in high school. And TMI. You know about the color TMI. It's, it's, were they not, your favorite? Shorts? They were my favorite okay. shorts. Yeah, your favorite it's not, shorts. It's not. They're not beautiful. You know, uh, and so my my <laughs> mom tried to throw them away probably four separate times, and it was kind of a joke because I'd always catch her and I'd be like, "You can't! Those are my special! Those are like my lucky shorts!" Uh, and so eventually, I I tore them, and so I kind of keep these little pieces of it on my right. guitar, just because it looks cool and it's kind of a running joke. You and know, maybe you'll kind of... grab the pieces and stitch them back together yeah. and make yeah. a pair yeah. of shorts yeah. again. It's like a lucky little. That's funny. Oh Fairground Saints are with us, and Magic, how did you come about that name for, for the uh, EP name? Um, well, there's a song on the EP called mm-hmm. Magic, Okay. and it was one of the, I think it was the very first song we wrote when we moved to yeah. Nashville, so it kind of became, you know, the cornerstone of this whole project, mm-hmm. and we just thought that it was a nice summation of everything that we've been going through the past couple of years mm. yeah i think also like in nashville you know there's like every time we're there even before we moved there there was this feeling of kind of there's a little bit of magic in the air you yeah. know it really is music city and uh i think it's sort of representative of our um our experience so far there mm-hmm. so that's so why who would you like to work with because i mean you know there's a lot of collaborations going on these days everybody's collaborating with somebody so <laughs> on your wish list man Casey Musgraves Great, would be really cool. Casey. Okay. Um, Chris Stapleton would be awesome. Yeah. That'd be really great. Brothers Osborne mm. would be fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Wow. Uh, we respect a lot of a lot of people that are um, well, doing the stuff that we love. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. This is exciting. I mean, it's got to be really exciting. Your first album, or actually second album. Yeah. The first album was 2015, so this is the yeah. second album is coming out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, so fans worldwide, you must be hearing from a lot of different people, you know, on social media, since you guys are very active on social media yeah, yeah. and on the internet, people around the world. And hopefully you will go internationally, you know, overseas and tour around yeah. the world because yeah. they'd sure love to hear will. country music from you guys. Sound great. The harmonies are great, which yes. you're known for your harmonies. Yeah. I think so. I mean, that's what yeah. I keep reading is the harmonies, the <laughs> harmonies that blow you away. And they did. I mean, hearing you guys is amazing. Well, th- thanks, thanks to everybody that said that, and thank you. Yeah. yeah. Can we hear some more? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> uh, we'll, we'll play a new one Ooh. that we just recorded, so it's not out yet. On the way up in the elevator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just Pretty much. <laughs> What's this called? It's called Mary. When you do a show, is it the same? Is it like very acoustic? Is yeah. it, are we seeing the okay? Yeah. I'll play various other instruments, but okay, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. yeah, there's some tricks we have the sound guy do, so we can I can kind of play percussively and get those, you know some thump happening yeah. and a subwoofer, mm-hmm. and it fills out pretty nicely. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the configuration we've been doing for a while. All right. You want to count it off, Meg? One, two, three. Mary.
outside bro show I know she don't say much but I know she's got a lot to say she doesn't know she's so much more than just an ordinary girl no I Fairground Saints, sounding great. Magic is the EP. Why'd you cut your hair? Uh, it was summertime, and it was <laughs> way too hot. <laughs> Took a long time to get it that long. Yeah, uh, and I was oh, done. Oh, so. you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Enough hot summers. Enough hot summers. All yeah. right, what are you guys doing this summer? Just more touring? That's More the, touring. Touring, more touring yeah. and more touring. Mm -hmm. And then you're gearing up for the, the uh, big show and then everything else that's going on with you guys. Exciting times. Congratulations. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. The Grand Ole Opry and uh, the new EP, a lot happening for Fairground Saints. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. So thank you for having us. Social media sites. Where can people go if they want to catch you? Uh, Fairgroundsaints.com. Um, you yeah. can at Fairground Saints. Uh, honestly, if you Google Fairground Saints, it'll all come all up. All of our socials will pop up. up. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you all. Thank you. Sound great. Enjoyed having them in the yeah. studios. Fairground Saints is the name of the band. Magic is their EP. My name is Larry London, and this is Border Crossings. Border Crossings.